Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Simply Nana. And guess what I have with me? Big Papa. As you guys know, probably from the Instagram feed, that we are back in Puerto Rico. You saw the um, the last video that I posted. Um, I'm sorry for like misleading you guys, but I had a mess with you guys. And I'll apologize for posting the video of the other house that we went to look at, um, which Paul actually ended up. We loved it. I didn't like that house. I liked it. Um, so this property was a, a new house, brand new house that they started to build, but then they decided they didn't want to live there. So this is the property. I'm, I'm talking about the property in the last video, and I'll put it in links up here, and I'll also put it um, at the end of this video. So that property was a property that was already built, had the electric already going, it had its own the water, plumbing. the plumbing, um, it had its own water well, which that's something that we've been looking for to make sure that whatever property that we get, we wanted to have our own water well. Um, and then, so for that, all that Paul liked it. I didn't care for the house, for the mere fact that it didn't have a dining room, and you guys know I love to cook and entertain. And talking about cooking, um, the kitchen was in an odd place. If you see in the video, um, the kitchen's like in the middle, so there's no windows. Here would be another yeah. bedroom. Here's a hallway, and the back of the kitchen and is another hallway. the only ventilation hallway. that place would have was the ceiling. Yes, they put they a skylight. Wind, yeah, skylight with a with a so with a stick. You open the windows like that, and that would have been the only. Yeah, so I didn't want that um, secluded. Yeah, I felt like I my dream kitchen i mean at least give me an island and plus i don't like dark places um i want something nice and bright like i'm washing dishes and i'm gonna be staring at, at the pared at the at the wall i didn't want that i didn't care for that for that yeah and then you gotta do the kitchen you need the kit all cabinets appliances all the bathroom toilets everything had to be put in so um it was crazy because at that moment I felt like I didn't want to have that what's the word I uh, I didn't want to do that I didn't want to sit there and have to do a whole house over what I told Paul that I wanted was to have a move-in ready house right yeah. so that was like a big thing to me well I think you liked it more because of the property yeah it was clear you know doing the math even though the owner of that property in that last video you saw he's kind of just wants to make his money back for everything that he invested um, into the property and everything else um, but then in the long run to buy a property that much for the amount that he was asking for we would have had to put a lot more money into it to get it up yes because we still would need floors the same the amount of money has to get done. basically would have came out to maybe the same amount well, I'm, we spent. I'm having to travel back over here because Purchase a house. Yes. <laughs> uh, a house and land and a bunch of stuff. So it's early. I don't even know what time. It's like 11 o'clock, right? So we just went to, um, we just met with the lawyer. And uh, the homeowner. A bag, yeah. Look how big this thing is and look how beautiful. It's, isn't it gorgeous? And the thing is it is pretty and it tastes good. So that means these things are dangerous. But it's 11 o'clock and you know what? We just closed down the house. I started to have a little bit of an anxiety attack in the office. I had to go to the waiting room. I did and go sit next to Diana because I was like, I feel like I was going to pass out. So, um, so we decided to come out and have a drink, just us. Salute to our new house. We could, uh, another thing is, some people may be thinking about, um, like why would they leave the States and come out here and get a house and everything else like that. The reality of everything is that um, when you're about a, around an age, you're in 50, and you haven't purchased a house yet in the States, and you once purchase you a the, house in the States that, and you'll be paying it for the rest of your life. Once you get that opportunity to do that in the States, if you haven't done it at a younger age, then it makes, if you really think about it, it makes no sense because you'll spend, you'll die and the house will, will not be paid for. Mm -hmm. And as you get older, you'll be in your 60s and 70s still having to pay for the house versus coming to Puerto Rico, investing a little, a few dollars in a property out here. Mm -hmm. 
once you pay it, it's yours. You don't have to worry about paying exactly. a thousand, you know, thousand dollars and change in property tax even after you pay for your Having property. Having a mortgage over your head every month. And as you get older. You don't pay your mortgage, you take your house, you know what I mean? You never know what can happen because things happen. You know, we, we struggle a lot of part of our lives. And uh, at one point we weren't together, then we, we got back together. We together for together. how many years? over 10 years yeah and then we got back together over 10 years and then if you would have asked us at that point in time if um, we would have thought we would have been back together i think we both would have said no i know yeah. i would have been like no we're not gonna and now we've been together almost about 11 years 11 years now we've been back together so and, um, it's been a roller coaster <coughs> but god been good to, to me and my family um, we struggle, you know, my business struggled for many years. We're still struggling, but we, we, we're able to make little moves, you know. So, we were able to do this, you know, and the grace of so God because God advantage. has the power, right? Exactly. Without God, you can't do nothing. But taking advantage of the the blessings that we have coming our way. So, you know, what, what, you know we're able to do it now. We have to jump on it and do it now because you never know what the future brings. Exactly. So, you know... We came out here investing the property, of course. But now we're gonna have to go back to the States and hustle our ass off and save every dime, every penny. To make it what we want. We're My, 48, so I just feel like we started a little late at, you know, at the game, I guess. Is that right. saying that right? Because a lot of, you know, other couples purchase their first home, you know, sometimes as soon as they get married because they have a nice chunk of money from their wedding, or sometimes by the age of, you know, 29, 30, 32, they're already owning their home. So I think we're a little behind, but, you know, it happens. We're still blessed, you know, everything, everything in life happens, happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, exactly. So. And then we're going to come out to Puerto Rico and invest money in business, whatever business we may think. You know, I'm thinking about um, a Caribeño, Caribbean style restaurant. I don't want to sell, really be into that Puerto Rican, you know, a lot of pork and, and all that stuff. We're that, trying to bring some flavor to the island, right, you know what I mean? Something uh, that they don't eat all the time. So we want to bring in some of that Caribbean jerk and jerk, all that. Right. Mix it with, you know, with our tropical island right. flavors. Right, have a lot of fish, a lot of crab. Again, that's in God's hands. So we'll see if God allows it to happen. <coughs> I'm going to continue, as you guys know from all my other videos, the reason that I've been trying to convert my handmade business into boutique um, clothes only is because I plan to have that on and taking so that when we move to the island, I can bring a Lisa Couture to Puerto, to Puerto Rico. That's right. So that's my, bring plan. It out here. that's my plan to have La Dulce Couture here, based here in Puerto Rico. Throughout the whole, um, our whole process, our whole journey with this house, from the beginning that we opened that door, which is going to be in a little bit, videotape it. We're going to take you along through everything from the minute we walk through that door, everything that we fix and we do to that house because it's a big property, right? How big? It's an acre. And, and people don't realize how, how big an acre is, but when you see it, it's like the property is like, an acre is a, it's pretty big, you know? And we have two houses on that property that you guys will see. So we have um, our main house. Um, that Paul and I will be living in, and then a little casita in the back, and then bedroom. yeah, and then in the back is a newer home that the co um, the owner's daughter had built for herself right before Maria. So that house is well made. Um, that house is a two bedroom, one bathroom house with a full kitchen, a full um, a full living room. So it's a, it's a nice house. So that's supposed to be for PJ and Fabiana to have there um, in the back. So those are our plans, because they don't want to live with us. They think they're too old for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then the front house has two full bathrooms, four bedrooms, right? <laughs> four bedrooms. Three bedrooms. <laughs> Three bedrooms. <laughs> okay. Guys, I'm scared of being. Yeah, so the, the main house has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has a really big kitchen. Um, and then obviously the living room. And it's a big property. And I seen this house, um, it's crazy. I seen this house years ago, years ago, years ago. When my parents first moved here. Um, and I didn't even have Poopy yet. 
and I seen this house. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would be purchasing it. I really did. Mm. Right? That goes to show you how God, you know, how God works. Just like God works when He put us together after all those years, 11, 11 10, 11 years. Yeah. And now we're here buying a home together. So we came out here for two weeks because we had um, been having to do all the paperwork, all the running around for the house. So there's not going to be a lot of blocks because we really didn't get to do much. And then on top of that, the kids are still here. Um, the kids are here with me. Yeah, they're doing the virtual So by the time schooling. they finish. Yes, yeah, three o'clock. And in Puerto Rico, I feel like. Yeah. yeah, everything's already like. You know. Yeah, I feel like everything is like Puerto Rico time goes like this. By three o'clock, it's already time to cook dinner, whatever. And people out here are out. I think by the like when the sun is up, these people are out in the road already. Mm -hmm. They going to the bank, they going to the, the Walmart, the supermercado, Selecto, Pueblo, all that. Yeah. Everything is done out here is early, but they're on Puerto Rican time. So if you know anybody knows about Puerto Rican time. Son lento con cojones. <laughs> you go to <laughs> vas a comprar un pan o un sándwich, tú vas, you're gonna wait at least a half hour to get that sandwich. Ain't like New York or Jersey where you go, they go ping, ping, bang, bang, bang. It's you a know, sandwich, yeah, let's Jersey, go. In Jersey, we quick, but in New York, no? they're like the Energizer Bunny. They be like, they don't be playing. Just, and then to go to the bank, because we had to go to our back. bank in the morning. I don't go because I don't have patience for that. He has to stand online just so he can get into our bank. Yeah. I guess that's the beauty of it. The island, you know, you, it's laid back. It's not all that rush, rush, rush like in the States, you know, so... I guess in time, you know, you get adjusted with everything. We have in our mind, you know, you know our plans and maybe so not maybe, but hopefully, you know, we're blessed to be successful. We don't want to become millionaires. We just want to be able to come over here when we decide to live out here, you know. We never had a lot of money, um, and we work hard to, to get this money because it was something that we really wanted to do. And we never been like materialistic people. I mean, I just bought a new living room set. Um, what was it last year? I always shop on, on Craigslist. Yeah, it's the first time we ever had a new living room set. A new living room set. I wish all my furniture I've always got in, you know, from Craigslist. Craigslist. And marketplace. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because I'm not a materialistic person. You know what Even I mean? now, if we see a, a brand new bed, like a, a great bedroom set or something out here, we're going to snatch it up. Yeah, we furniture and make it our own. Yep. But like, you know, we never been like that. Like I just like to be comfortable and I just want peace in my life. And I just want to be able just to enjoy life. And that's it, without stress. We'll be bringing you a video. So make sure you look out because the next video is going to be the house tour um, and us actually going into the house. It won't be for the first time because we've been in the house a lot. Um, this trip, the last trip, and all of that, right? But it would just be the first we time. Love going. Puerto Rico. We, yeah, we do. Um, this video, the video that you guys will see, the next video will be actually us going into the house for the first time as the homeowners. Like that's our house. Yeah. We might take the kids so you can see how excited they are. They're not gonna be. <laughs> the big kids are excited. The three little ones are devastated. <laughs> So this morning we had asked the kids if they wanted to come with us to the lawyer's office so they can just get the experience yes. of buying a home, meeting with the lawyer, the transactions. Um, the transaction, we brought my dad with us because my dad, you know, did the same transaction out here. Plus in the states, you guys know he owned houses. So we just brought him to just kind of, you know, be a witness and make sure that everything, you know, went through smoothly. Um, so I asked the kids, you know, they were sleeping. I said, do you guys want to come with us to the lawyer's? Well, no, I said, do you guys want to come with us? They said, where? Then I said to the lawyer's office so we can finalize the papers and, you know, give them the money. They were like, no, thank you. <laughs> they didn't want no part. He just thought he's different because they lived in Puerto Rico before. Um, and they're older, so they know how to go out, right, and get around and have fun and stuff mm -hmm. like that. My kids have no friends out here, so it's the three little ones, so it's different for them. I think she's just, just looking forward to just buying a horse. Yeah. Right? Which we hope to do for her once everything is done, right? I don't know. Are you 
Yeah, yeah I could have bought another day, but. Yeah, he wanted to buy a horse the other day to put on the property, but My I. My mother was actually saying yesterday that, that the, the horses kept on going down back there. Yeah, but then I'm afraid we're gonna invest in buying a horse, and um, we're because in Jersey, it keeps it, it and somebody. Keeps no, but hold on, now you tell them why. I'm afraid to buy a horse because we're gonna be in Jersey, and I don't want nobody coming and stealing the horse off the property. I'm not worried about that. They weren't going to steal the horse. We put them in the property. The, the good thing about having a horse in the property is that it will keep all the grass down. They'll eat all the grass, you know? They'll keep everything down. With that said, we're going to end this vlog. Um, so look out for the other videos. We are truly excited. We feel totally blessed and we Rico y sabroso hacer it. Oye, que bola. Oye, chico, tú no sabes que Fidel. Fidel allá se jodía mucho ahora. Oye, a serio. El hermano de él es más peor. I think when he... <laughs> I think when he grows up, he wants to be an actor. You hear Hector? All right, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Look up. Cooking. No, I'm, I'm going to be changing that. All right. I made now, come videos. check out On The Go Love. All right, support me on my channel. I'm trying to get over a thousand views, He's a thousand there. subscribers. She fought, I used to have way more than her. She just overnight, she passed me. It's the food, baby. It's the food. All right. So make sure you look out for the video. The next video is going to be the house tour of our new home in Puerto Rico. Um, and you're going to go through this journey with us. All right, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Simply Nana. And I'm going to be changing the name of my channel too because as you guys know and some of you already ran over to my other channel and subscribe which I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support and the love. Um, so now you know this is strictly going to be cooking and vlogging. So I'm thinking of changing the name which you guys will see um, most likely um, to cooking visa song. Okay, which cooking is for my delicious meals that I teach you guys. Lisa song, Lisa song is the flavor that we bring to you. You like that, right? Like <laughs> Thank Bye. you so much to the next video. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, hit that bell for notification, and I'll catch you on the next one.